Hi, good morning. It is currently July 14th and I have allergies, so that's fantastic. Today I decided I wanted to vlog because we have a lot of fun things coming up tonight. Like for example, we're going to a baseball game with a few friends and I may or may not be throwing the first pitch. <laughs> So I figured that would be fun, and why not vlog? Kathy and I are going to go practice the first pitch. Cause I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Ew, I sounded so weird when I said that. Sounded like a, like a, you know when like a dog owner is like talking to their dog and they use like the baby voice and they're like, I'm a little nervous. Yes, I am. That's what I sounded like, except in a more annoying way, <laughs> you know, like not in like a cute way, in like a bad way. Now, make sure you keep your elbow up and your hand high. Yeah. Are we like a like, good distance apart? Not far enough, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. You know what? I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about that one. That's so embarrassing. There you go. Nice pinch. Six, don't six, make me move the glove. Just six, can't. Six. Don't Oh, that one like... I felt that in my brain. They completely breached our contract, yeah. so we're leaving. So we're gonna go out to dinner instead. Woohoo! Never a dull moment though. It's kind of, it's a little messed up though. It's, it's a little, it's a little messed up. They like half the things they promised us they didn't give us. The fam. The fam must be represented. Where are we going? Texas. I have a party of eight. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Wait a minute. Yeah. We're looking at. Uh, get out, get out. Um, it's Our over. Uh, she's at it. <laughs> oh, that air feels nice. They didn't do it. Did do you like? Hey, can I offer them something? Next Yes, Dad. Do yeah. it. Yes, Dad. Guys, look, there's a star in there. Whoa. No, you look so cute. Blushing and kicking my feet. <laughs> screaming, crying, throwing up. You're a guy throwing up. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Say out loud. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I did that earlier and the guy didn't do it and I was like, dang, this that sucks. So sad. I was embarrassed and like, never doing it again. They're like, and they're like, yeah, okay. I just keep going. Like, why are you looking at me then? Yes, I'm sorry. It is their car. We saw someone put their like, little ass on some on a car to take a picture. Yee! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 Okay. Our table's ready. We'll see you inside. Right. We shall see you oh. inside. <laughs> So this is Sebastian. She is Trey's friend. The kids, they're all here. It's a kid's table. It's a kid's table. And then the adults are back there. I'm sorry.
turn. <laughs> it was not my birthday. <laughs> my birthday is in April. And this was filmed in July. But ever since like I was like little, my family always like played pranks on me where they will um, tell the waiters and waitresses that it's my birthday and like surprise me with it. And like I never get like anything free out of it, but it's just like for like the joke of like the, the singing in the song and embarrassing me and stuff. It's like that little joke. And like John and Kristen used to do it too and stuff. And it was like they all, everyone everyone did it to me. And my dad felt so this is a whole mess that I'm not getting into, but my dad felt so bad about like the contract being breached that he still wanted me to like have my moment and he wanted me to like have like the spotlight or whatever. So he was like he, he did ask me he was like would it be okay if i did this and i was like yeah because they just call you up on the saddle and he was like i really want to do this for you i think this would be nice because he wanted me to still have my moment to shine because i didn't get to do the first pitch and all that and but yeah but it's okay because like i said he still felt bad and he he didn't have to do this too but i think it's really sweet that he did he wanted to make up for it for me not getting it so and like a month later after this happened he got me to the audio kind of cut out but i said throw the first pitch for a new jersey baseball game which was really cool and i vlogged it and sarah came along and everything so you should stay tuned for that because it's coming out very soon so yeah but yeah so that's what that is so it feels very sweet though thank you dad i have a feeling that i'm not even in frame i feel like my head's like oh. i do too hi ralphie boy modern problems require modern solutions hi hi Welcome to our tea time. Welcome. Tea time with Ronnie and Sarah. Lil Dicky. <gasps> She's dating Lil Dicky? Uh, no. Wait. We're trying okay. to find Doja Cat's boyfriend because if y'all don't know, she Doja she texted I have a girlfriend I'm going public. <gasps> I think I heard about that. I think these are all okay, that's 2021. 2020. Okay, so I think this is all like past stuff. 2021. 2019. Joji. Oh, wait. Hang on. Joji? No, Joji. Oh, I'm getting bamboozled right now. <laughs> what is this? Anyway, if y'all don't know, dating? Doja Cat Doji, Doji, Doji. texted Noah Snap or DM Noah Snap and asked for Joseph Quinn's Instagram and asked for them to set up. And then Noah Snap posted it on TikTok. Because it was a poster, funny. basically. Yeah, because he's like a sh poster and she did it anyway. Which, I don't know how people are feeling about this. Like, yeah, maybe he shouldn't have done it, but she knew. And also, why couldn't she type in his name in the search bar? So I have, a, I have a few questions. But it turns out she had a boyfriend the whole time, which is why she's so mad about it. It might be French, French Montana. Montana. Her fault. Ow. He does look like the type of person that Doja Cat would date, though. Yeah. He looks right like Drake. Like Drake. Morocco, not my entire lines, but there's That's still Morocco, ones. not Morocco. Nope, it's Morocco now. <laughs> Dude, listen, my brain cells are not working today. Apparently. It is almost midnight. True. Oh, that's like a trope that they do in shows though. Let's think about some other stuff to talk about. Let's look it up on Twitter. <laughs> What's going on today? I'm going to see Elton John tomorrow. She is. In Philadelphia. Maybe, maybe she just doesn't have a boyfriend. Maybe she's bamboozling us. No, because she said ruin the relationships in the live. I think I personally misread that live because I just went back. And I'll play it for you, but I just went back and watched that entire live over again to put into this video, and I was looking for the specific part. And she said, fuck up relationships with people, not fuck up people's relationships. I think I misheard it, because I saw it on, I think, Twitter, and Sarah saw it on Twitter, and we were talking about it, and that's when we decided to, like, make it part of the video, because we were just like, let's make it part of the vlog, let's talk about it. And we're trying to find out who he was. But I do think that she had a boyfriend, but I think that my reference was not an accurate one, because I think her boyfriend was, like, someone that's, like, not famous, that she wanted to keep private and off the internet i believe because I, I i don't i don't have a credible source for that so i don't know but i think that's what i saw somewhere because someone recently was talking about it i thought like i don't know that's what i think but the what i'm currently talking about the reference from the live that is not real i will still play it but that is i think i personally it, you, it, it could be up to your interpretation but me personally i think i misread that when i heard it and i think that it means like their friendship is fucked up not that he fucked up her relationship with her boyfriend you know what i mean you can up relationships with people i don't know i mean and you're gonna be like ronnie who gives a shit? 
first of all, this was two years ago. Well, like almost. It's like February 2024. So like, I don't know, like a year ago, I guess. Two years ago. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. This is just for fun. Like, we're just having fun. Like, like I don't actually care. I hope she's doing well. Hope that they're still together. I don't know. Like, hope that everyone's doing well in the situation. I like, I don't care. It's just for fun. We're talking, we're literally just talking about it for fun. Like, it's just for fun. Like, and this has been not meant for slander or literally anything. Like, and no harm is to come from this, like, at all. Like, it's literally just for fun. Anyways, I'll leave that up here in her rotation. If you think differently, I'm definitely, like, I mean, if you, like, want to get in the comments, like, you know, let me know. But I don't know. I just feel like, looking back, like, that's not a credible source because, like, she's saying you fuck up relationships with people, not, like, you fuck up their relationships, which kind of makes it seem like you fuck up your friendships, not, like, people's relationships, you know? Also, someone did say babe and Shannon watch you. Yeah, oh, oh. I'm on live. <laughs> okay, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> oh, true. Okay, that one is fair. That one's a credible source, and I forgot about that. So never mind. Like we're back in it. <laughs> we're back in it. <laughs> no, no, sir. I forgot about that. But that one is a credible source. Like that one. That one was real. That one was not interpretation. That was serious. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think this has nothing to do with the word. Probably not. I don't blame her. Joseph Quinn is beautiful. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about Stranger Things. <laughs> Let's talk about the fact that Eddie Munson is just the most beautiful man. And Steve the Hare Harrington is the most beautiful man of all. And Hopper. Wait, what Let's talk about Hopper. What songs would save you from Beckna? I feel you. I don't want to be asked this question mm -hmm. because there are just at that so point, many. At that point, Beck and I just need to sit down and have a talk while I figure out what yeah. song to put on. <laughs> I'd be like, come on, like, can we wait a second? I gotta figure this out sit real Sit down, quick. have a glass of wine, we'll figure this out. Let's see, I might have choose a song that was like my favorite song of all time. I don't know. I literally, no, I mean, I would say probably I See the Light by, from Tangled. On My Own by Ross Lunch from Teen Beach 2. Cruising for a Bruising. Oh, classic. Mm -hmm. From Teen Beach. Yeah. There are some other like songs but i'm absolutely feeling them. my serious problem is that i just i can't remember <laughs> don't stop believing by journey that's a good one that's that is a good one definitely that and soak up the sun by cheryl crow mm -hmm. and second chance by sharon mm -hmm. i met a girl by william michael morgan oh yeah slaps locked by the heaven by bruno mars Ooh, that's a good one. that would do it purple lamborghini for sure i had a hip hop dance to purple lamborghini and it just gets me going like i just that okay maybe that wasn't the proper <laughs> <laughs> New Perspective by Pang at the Disco. Don't like the band, but like the song. Caught Up in You by 38 Special. Mm -hmm. See, I can't pick a favorite song. Any song somewhere. by One Direction. Gladly will save me from back now. Ooh, Laura by Hockey Dad. Can't believe I forgot about Laura. Fucking <laughs> Beckman's got it. I was gonna say, Beckman's trying to grab me or something? <laughs> you <know> Chrissy? <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. I wonder what Chrissy's favorite song is. There's gonna be something I'm gonna find later and I'm gonna be like, I can't believe I forgot about that. And it's gonna piss me off. Yeah, like Queen. Like <laughs> for those who don't know, Queen is my favorite band. Like they've been my favorite band f for years. I'm actually like obsessed with them. Like they are one of my well, they are like my all time favorite band forever. And they have like I said, they have been for a really long time. And I remember this thought process and I was like, Well, I can't I don't want to just say any song from Queen because I feel like that's too generic and I wanted to be more specific. Like that was my thought process. But like, no any song from queen if you play a queen song it's got like it saves me we're good and i i obviously my music taste has changed a little bit there are some songs in there that aren't my favorites anymore but like forever queen will always be my favorite that's number one like queen will always be my favorite band and they will always be my favorite songs that's number one and number two that's the one thing i will comment on now and be like no like fucking queen i'm putting it in i don't care like it's true it literally would save me like i literally like i don't know like queen like any song from queen little freak Ooh. by harry styles yeah, that's a good one would you go with me by Josh Turner. Oh, absolutely. I would go with you anywhere. <laughs> Turn me on by Kevin Little. <laughs> Shut up. All for us. Do my labyrinth and send a boyfriend by Big Time Rush. My <laughs> dog. There's just so many though. I love music. There's so many. There's just so many. I personally think that Welcome to the Black Parade by My Couple of Romance, instead of having me run away from Beck and I feel like we would all just sit there and cry. 505 by Arctic Monkeys. Absolutely. Any song by Queen? I'm literally my favorite band. Me too. I feel complete now that I said that. There we go, we're saved. Really? Problem solved. Literally. Everything I Wanted by Billy Eilish. Heat Waves by Glass Animals. Ooh, that's a good one. This Love by Maroon 5. Mean to Me by Brooke Highland. 
talking to the moon by Bruno Mars. Absolutely. That would, I, I would just cry. I would just tell that man to take me right there. I'd be like, just wait. You know, just grab me. Just go ahead. Break my bones. Break my jaw. Take my eyes for all I care. Ooh. Uh, Big spider monkey. <laughs> Any song from the Twilight soundtracks? Ooh, true. Catch me crying, uh, Rosalind. Super, super, super massive black hole. Oh yeah, I love that one. That one, that one, that one slaps. Um, we bring woman. Any, if only. Did I mention? <laughs> Any song from Anton? Ooh, true. That's a good one. That's a good one. No Vaseline by Ice Cube. No Vaseline. Man, lips must be chapped. <laughs> I'm still standing by Elton John. Honky Cat by Ellen John. Love Grows by Edison Lighthouse. Middle of the Night by Ellie. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Golden? No, it's. Oh, uh, do. <laughs> do. Do. Eminem. Eminem, just simply Eminem. <laughs> Frank Sinatra. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, what was the about Twilight? I love Twilight. Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey. <laughs> Didn't think about that one. See, there's just so many though. The Climb by Miley Cyrus. Peach Scone. I will stand by that song. Me too. Hobo Johnson. I will stand by Hobo Johnson. Earth by Lil Dicky. <laughs> Black Widow by Iggy Azalea. But was bored American Mouth. Crying, sobbing, throwing Screaming. myself down the wall. <laughs> Fetal position, rocking in the position. corner. Let's see. Your Man by Josh Turner. That song. That's also a good. I don't like rap. I don't like Kanye. But Black Skin. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Just go up to That's K. That's not right. Go up to K. We're in Kanye. Oh, it's so okay. Am I? Where am I? <laughs> black skinhead. Black skinhead. Skin black skinhead is so good. Lost by Frank Ocean. <gasps> Lost is so good. I had made a TikTok eating cake to that. <laughs> so quirky. You're so pretty. Nice. Oh my gosh. You're so nice. Wait, I wonder if this is the one. There was one I did that I thought was really good. Yeah, it's not that one. Don't look at that. Yeah, that's not it either. <laughs> Do they, does it exist anymore? Because I don't think it does. I'm editing right now. So to finish off the night, I'm editing. Sarah went home. She has yet to text me that she made it home safe. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed. My camera died, so I'm filming this on my phone right now. Also, I thought this is cool since this is here. How it started. How it's going. Thank you for watching. Also, you may hear like my nose like whistle. My bad, it's my allergies. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed. I had a really good day, so I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. So, bye!